Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and this is an interesting case of a woman who had an injury who shows up at the ER and her atlantodental interspace, her ADI, here the ADI is white, that's between the atlas here and the dens, but on the initial x-ray that was eight millimeters. So uh, that then caused referrals, which then caused these two images that we see here. Now, her atlantodental inner space here um, is not as big. So shortly thereafter, it gets measured here at a couple of millimeters and it's filled with fluid. And then it gets measured here on a CT scan at maybe five millimeters uh, to five millimeters at the top, three millimeters at the bottom. So these are not crazy concerning, but these are both lying face up. So the concept is here that her ADI would be expected to be better in that position. Long story short is uh, based on this, she's offered a fusion, a C0 through C2 fusion. We took a look at her and we said, listen, as long as this continues to trend in the right direction and heal, um, this should be uh, appropriate for a PICL procedure directly into the transverse ligament, but we're going to have to recheck imaging before we treat you. So that leads us to this image of her transverse ligament. Now, uh, we got this image with a specialized head coil. You can see here this dark band, but the dark band doesn't extend all the way over. It seems to be missing here. So that could be a transverse ligament tear. Um, which led us to her DMX. And the patient's DMX is a little bit of a surprise because now this atlantodental inner space, when she's actually seated, has grown to 11 millimeters. Uh, so it went from the original eight to about five when she's in supine imaging to now around 11 millimeters, which is a significant concern. But if we do some quick math, we can see why this is a concern, right? Um, so if we measure this distance, this is only about three millimeters. And if we measure the distance from the back of the cord to the uh, back of the atlas here, that's about six millimeters. So the problem is that if this three millimeters here grows to 11 millimeters, which is what it was on the, the new image, then we can quickly get in trouble, as you can see, right? Basically what that means is that this particular area back here, uh, the back of the atlas, then is going to move forward and bump into uh, this cord. So basically, there's just not enough room. We had hoped that this patient would uh, continually have healing of the transverse ligament, so we could then go in and prompt more healing. But she is now a surgical candidate, so she's going to see, I hope, uh, Dr. Henderson in Maryland uh, to get an upper cervical fusion. Um, but I just wanted to share this because this is the kind of thing that's important to look at, right? Who is appropriate for the procedure you offer, but also, as important who is not appropriate for the procedure you offer. Um, so thanks so much for watching and have a great day.